Hello. The answer to the question of where and how to place a hemostatic tourniquet on a serviceman's equipment has two components. First, the location of at least one tourniquet must be agreed upon by the unit. It should be visually visible and placed in intuitive locations that have become established over the years of war either on the front of a plate carrier, body armor, next to magazine pouches, or on the harness of the same body armor or plate carrier, if you decide to fix it there. All other locations, on the chamber, under the bottom of the shoulder pouch, and so on, are up to you, depending on the combination of equipment for specific tasks. Clearly, in an individual first aid kit, if you attach it anywhere in the open, always place the collar against your body. This will ensure relative safety for the internal sling of the tourniquet. Everything is clear. The upward-facing collar adds tactical value, especially when there are two of them. But if a munition with a lot of fragments arrives, one of them can cut the inner sling. In this case, any tourniquet can be disposed of. When we turn the gate to the body, if the sling is torn by a piece of shrapnel by even 50%, it is not critical. The reason is that the place of damage goes beyond the working area of the tool, and the load on it is relatively small since you are primarily responsible for your life. Here are a few recommendations which you could follow. First, hemostatic tourniquets should be located no higher than the chest area. In a stressful situation, when you are injured with massive bleeding, when you have limited time to provide self-help, raising your arms at chest level at most requires less effort compared to raising them higher. Especially if you are pulling tourniquets secured with various rubber bands and tapes. Sometimes those 20 centimeters difference in height can be significant in saving your life. Second, there should be two tourniquets attached on the armor. And they should be in tourniquet pouches that are attached to the armor. This will protect them from damage in case of emergency. In addition, a normal pouch is also tactical. It is up to you to choose where to attach them. But the main thing is that a tourniquet pouch protects you from a banal loss of the tool. Attaching it to the equipment with elastic bands or tapes always means the danger of a weapon being pulled off the armor harness by a belt or of the tourniquet being easily lost during a battle, especially if they are assault units. When worn in the open, the tourniquet needs to be replaced after a maximum of six months, if life is important. Environmental influences take their toll. Using the pouch, you can give it to your grandchildren for tactical training. Fixing the pouch on the left or right side of the magazine pouches on the armor, in the version for one magazine, makes it possible to reach it with both the left and right hand. As for how many tourniquets you need to take with you, it all depends on the specific combat mission. The norm is four pieces. The minimum is two. And that's it.